Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, October 11th. And man, the time goes fast. Anyway, we're doing a market wrap video here. What we're going to focus on is education. It's not an idea about, oh, look at winners, look at the winners. No, it's an idea I want to convey to you. Education. If we can educate you, you'll be able to do this on your own. We don't want to give you fish. I want to teach you to fish. Yeah, we're going to give ideas. Yes. Every night we produce a list called the key list. Why is it called the key list? A, it's the stocks we're keying on the next day. These are the stocks I'm interested in buying. I don't look at a million different stocks during the day. I key or focus on those list, those stocks. That's it. So we're going to take it from the top. The Dow is walking up the eight day. It's trending up. You just let it work. The NASDAQ comp is walking up the eight day. You just let it work. The S&P 500 is walking up the eight day and above the 20 and above the 50. You let it work. When is it going to stop? I don't know. Get in line with trends. NASDAQ 100, QLD, walking up the 8 day. That's great to see. SSO, walking up the 8 day. That's the S&P 500 leveraged. I use these. And then TNA, grinding on up the 8 day. Going sideways here, but it was leading the charge. That's the big overview. Every day, I start at the end of the day looking at those just to get an understanding of, hey, what the market's doing. Now, I'm going to show you some of the stocks, all right? And we're going to start right here with ones that were on the key list that were actually bought. And we own these, okay? And I can document that, but I'll just tell you, we own these. Oh, and I'm going to tell you one more thing here. Do we have losses? Oh, yeah. Anybody who says they don't have losses is a liar. The key point is this. you got to limit losses. We always limit losses. A clean and simple entry like that going sideways gives you a clean and simple exit if you're wrong. If we bought this right here and it went up and then it fell back down, by Jove, I'm selling it that day. You say, oh, I'm going to wait for 7%. No, Bill O'Neill doesn't wait for 7%. He wants 5% or less. I want to have a clean and simple entry right above these tops. So that if it falls back down real quick, I'm out for pennies. Very small losses. Very important. And I shouldn't say pennies. Not pennies, but small amounts. Small. So let's do this. Solar Edge was going sideways. I'd like to show you something here because this is what we're looking at. It's easy to look back. We don't invest through the rearview mirror, okay? There's Solar Edge. It's just going sideways. Every day you look at it, it's going sideways. You say, gosh, I guess if it takes above around 27, 20 a share, with volume, that'd probably be pretty good. Boom, it was on the key list the nights before. I mail out the key list to VIP members the night before, not the morning of, so people can study them, and not late either. The stock took off, and since then, what's it doing? Here you go. It's just going sideways, and it's still above the ATA. You see this little green hash here? That's a spot that if it lifts through that on volume, we'll buy more. If it falls through here, I'll sell a little bit off. But the great thing is this. We're in the profit zone. We'll let it work. There's one of them that was on the key list. ACLS picked up right here. Around $25 a share. A little over $25 a share. Look at the volume pickup that day. Boom. Walking up the eight day. It's nice to see. Leading group, leading stocks. O'Neill and Company's research points out, 49 to 50% of a stock price's movement is related to the industry group that it's in and the sector that it's in. Half. Half the price movement's related to those two variables. So guess what we do? I've stratified that and I said, I key on, I focus on leading groups and leading stocks. And that's a list that I produce and send to everybody on Twitter so that you have the information organized by group rank. So. ACLS, leading group, leading stock, looks good. Here's another one, YY. Picked it up right here. Look at the volume break, right here. Are we still in it? Well, yeah. It's riding up the eight day. Is it gonna fall and lose the eight day? I don't know. Someday it will, but it'll keep on going. See that little hash right there? If it goes above here, I'll buy some more. Those are some of them that are on the key list that we actually own. I'm gonna show you a few more here real quick. In fact, we're going to run down. We own those. I'm going to show you some more here, okay? 
Apple. Apple tarts to lift off here above this little level right here, and it's fritting around. It's below the 50-day, but right here, I thought maybe take off. It's just sitting here right now, but I'm watching it to see what it'll do. Small position, small. Amazon. We got an Amazon right here going across these tops. It walks up. And now look at this. See where I said this looks good for tomorrow? This is the picture that I sent out to the VIP site members on missionwinners.com. Look at this thing going sideways right here. Here's the weekly for you. There's the monthly. Here's the weekly. Got the line drawn right there. Look at the volume last week. Big pickup right near those highs. I'm going back to the daily. And isn't it interesting? What price are we talking about? Right there. You see that high on that bar? Thousand bucks to the penny, $1,000. Starts to lift through there, guess what? We'll buy more and we'll let it work and see what happens. But in the meantime, we're in the profit zone and we'll add to it. Got a limit alert set here. Got a downside limit alert set if it starts to lose it. I'm gonna raise that just a little bit. So we're in Amazon, we'll add to it. Key list, Alibaba, picked up Alibaba right here. Clean and simple, just a clean and simple base. Lifting off the eight day above the 20 day, volume pickup that day. We're in it. And it's grinding up. I like that. Where's it going to go? I don't know, but it's starting to work for us. ESPR. Pick this one up right here. Asperian Therapeutics. Right there. Lift it through. Slight volume pickup. Clean and simple tops. And it's grinding up. Is it a huge gain? Nah, it's three, three bucks. No great shakes, but it's a star. Google. We bought Google right there, right there. Then we added more to it in here, and we bought more today. Why? Well, let's go back and look at them, sports fans. It was going sideways right there, right there, across those tops. You can see it. Boom. We're in it. We're going to advance day by day. Goes up. Nice, on a pickup in volume. Oh boy, that's the end of the world. No, it's not. We own it down here. We're still in good shape. We'll see what it does. Oh, okay, it's snugging them off the eight day. Let's see what it does. Oh, okay, it's still okay, but it's above the eight day. Volume's low. We'll just sit tight and see what happens. Maybe if it takes across these tops, we could buy some more. Boom, they voted. Look at the volume pickup that day. We're in. We get a little bit more. Does this. Oh, we're going to do the happy dance. Everybody's happy. Does this. We sit tight. We're in a good position. We're not going to trade it. By the way, I don't day trade and do all this in and out stuff. Comes down, you go, oh, that's it. It's over. Didn't violate the eight day. Bounces up right here with a pickup in volume, lifting through these tops. So guess what we did? We lost a little bit more. So we'll see what happens. Right here, triggered a little bit above. That's 106,619. Uh, Hit a 107, 1,757. We'll watch. Maybe we'll add to it. But there's the daily. Here's the weekly. Oh, and you know what's something really interesting? In Investor's Daily today, after we bought more of this in the VIP member room of Mission Winners, um, it was in IBD, written up in IBD about this base. Interesting how that happens sometimes. By the way, I don't work for IBD. I don't get anything from them. I don't get a discount on anything, but it's a great paper, a great source of information that will speed up your learning curve. So there's Google for you. Here we go. Microchip in right here, grinding on up. We'll see what it does. Can't sell it. Counts bounced off the 20 day. Volume's decent. We just let it work. Nothing huge, but it's a start. It's a start. Netflix. Pick this up right down here. And I told people about it the night before. I said, go lifting through these spots, this looks really good. And we picked it up and it's moved up, you know, about 10 points or so. What's it gonna do? I don't know, but I'm watching. Here's something else I do. When I get a quick move like this, I put this in the chart and I sent it to people in the Mission Winner site. I sold some into strength. I sold a little bit off. Why? I've seen too many instances that they do this and they give it all back. I'm going to make a little bit. If it takes out this top right here, guess what? We'll buy some more. There's the limit alert. Square. Picked it up right here. 
We owned it at other different times, but we picked it up right here. Slight volume pickup, around $29 a share. You can see it, clean and simple. And what's it doing? It's just marching up the eight day. I'm gonna do a little lesson for you. So we're looking at this saying, gosh, and again, this was on the key list and it was sent to the people the night before. You can say, Pat, how many stocks are on the key list? Like 50 of them? Good Lord, no, I can't follow 50 of them. It's like eight to 12 stocks. It shows the ticker symbol. It tells what kind of a base it is. And it gives you the entry point and any notes on what to look for. So, square, square. Up, off it goes on a pickup in volume, and we're in it. Bought it right here, a little over 29 bucks, and we're in it. Oh, everything's fine. Yep, oh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yep, everything's fine. Yep, looks good. Trending up the eight, and there it is. That's where we're close today. By the way, they all don't work great, but we always limit losses. But in the meantime, what do we do with this? We let it work for us. Square, that's it. Leading group, leading stock, Teradyne. Pick this Teradyne up right here. Look at, there's a top there, there's a top there. Picked it up here, volume pickup, and it's walking up the eight day. Nice to see. Key stock, keyless stock. I even have it on this chart. It's a keyless stock. This was given back to the people, the subscribers, back in here. I think I had it all through here. Why? Because I was looking at that. This. Picked it up right in here, and then it just kind of started to march. Not a huge mover, but it's a start. XBI, this is another one we own. Pick this up right in here, right here. Look at the volume that day. See that? Right there, they voted. People talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. By Jove, they voted. And we pick it up here and we let it work and we'll see what happens. You could sell a little bit off into strength. It's on the five day. We'll just see what it does. If it starts to lose this, Maybe we'll take it off. Even if we sell it here, the rest of our shares, we still made money. That's a welcome problem. So let me see if I got anything else here for you folks. Hold on just a second. Tesla, we had done Tesla earlier. This was on the key list and I can document it. We had this one right here, picked it up right through here, volume pickup right there, marching on up, sold some off, and right here this morning, when this stock rallied up and tailed off, I told the people, take some off. Why? Because it's a double top. Sell some. Right up here, there's a top here, there's a top there. Came down here, came down here, lost the eight day right here. We sold the rest and you can say, well, gosh, so you sold some at 371, okay? All right. That, you know, or 370, we'll just call it 370. You sold some at 370. Well, let's see here. Dropped all the way down to a low of 331. That's about the last time I checked about 40 points. So we got out and we let it go. We'll let it settle down and we'll see what happens. Here's Facebook. We're watching Facebook to see if it can start to lift off. Amazon. If Amazon takes out this peak here above 1,000, I think that looks really good. Stamps.com. I gave everybody in missionwinners.com a heads up on this. This stock trades thin. This stock trades with a wide spread. You got to be careful with stocks that trade with wide spreads. They can really mess you up. The stock started to go up and it tailed off. You've got to try to buy as close to the pivot price as possible. The high this day is 220 bucks. The high this day is 221 bucks. You want to buy that a hair over 220 bucks. Not $222, not $222.90. You want to get it close to $220. Runs up, pulls back, because if you bought up here, at one time you were down five bucks. So you just got to be careful, be very, very deliberate. I want, that's about all I want to show you here on this. Again, my goal is to educate you. It's not just to give you key list, but it's to explain through chart analysis like this. And I do a lot of this in the Mission Winner site, explaining things so that people understand why. And if you know why something's happening, 
you don't need anybody else's information. You own it. You figured it out yourself. That's what you're after. Knowledge is power, and that's what we're trying to do. We're going to have more videos, and I'll tell you something we'll be tear, uh, tearing into also is psychology. Invest your psychology and how to control your emotions. Remember this. Wall Street is a very expensive place to go to have some excitement. Extremely expensive. We don't come here for excitement. Anyway, hey, thank you all for, for, for listening. I hope this helps you. Have a good night and have a safe night. Thank you.